question number 10 from the Facebook by SA Chatter. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Facebook by SA Chatter. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Facebook by SA Chatter. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Facebook by SA Chatter. A three phase, four pole star connected alternator supplies a load at 50 hertz. The stator has a total of 96 loads. The 610 coils are fully pitched and double layer windings are used for distribution. Factor of 0 0.95. Now they say calculate the open circuit voltage that is generated by the alternator and check the useful flux to be 55 millivolts. Right. So we need to calculate the generated area. And for us to do that, we we'll use the volume equation. So the generated area per base is always equal to 4 multiplied by the flux multiplied by the frequency times the point distribution vector, pitch vector, and the form vector height. We have done another video where we explain why what the distribution vector and the pitch vector and the form vector is. But then if I'm looking at this equation, then I know that the data that I will need for me to be able to use this, I will need the frequency, I will need the flux, I will need to calculate the terms per phase. I need to have my KD, which is the distribution vector, and I will also need my KP, and I will need my KF. But KF is a constant, which is 1.111. KP is what is called a pitch vector. In this question, they said our machine is fully pitched, so it is 1. Now, KD is given in the test as 0 0.2. 0. KD is 0 0.9. KD is 0 0.9. Okay. Five, six, right? Obviously, TP needs me to have Z, the number of conductors, divided by 2. And then, also, the flux can hold is given as 55 hertz, and the frequency is also given as 50 hertz. Right. So, if you look at the data that is given to you, I can see that I have all the other values except for one. It means I must first calculate this terms per phase. And if I'm looking at the equation, it says that terms per phase is equal to the total number of conductors per phase divided by 2. Then it means I must first calculate that. So I need to first have Z, right? And Z is then equal to the number of conductors in the, in the machine. And if I look at the, in the, in the question, the statement says the stator has a total of 96 slots, and it also says that it, it's a 610 coin which are fully pitched and a double layer. And you know that Z is the product of 2 minus 1, is the number of slots multiplied by the number of conductors per slot. Now in this case, they tell us that it's a 610 coin that is fully pitched and a double layer, meaning that this term here is then equal to 6 multiplied by the double pair, 6 by 2, and I'm given the number of slots uh, with a statement and the number of slots is equal to 96. So basically, my Z would be then equal to that value, of course. If you start, if you start, if you, come, if you punch this or calculate, you get that Z is equal to 11. 52. So the total number of conductors in the machine is 1152. But if I go back and get my equation, it says tens per phase is equal to Zp divided by 2. So if I have Z, it means I must first then calculate Zp. And to get the value of Zp, I say that Zp is equal to the total conductors divided by the number of phases, which is a three phase machine. Divide this by 3 and this then equals 1152 divided by 2.
you might not have three. And if you punch that in the calculator, you will get the following value z. The face is going to be equal to 3, 8, 4. Right? Now we have set the face, but we still need to calculate change the face, which is zp divided by 2. To continue the side, I know that tp is equal to z the face divided by 2. For this, and this is equal to 3, 8, 4 divided by 2. And that gives you now 1, 9, 2. Right? No units. It's just the number of tens per face, 192 for this question. Right. Then we have everything that we need for us to use this equation. I will just rewrite it here and you can go ahead and solve it too. The EMF per face is equal to 4 multiplied by the frequency multiplied by the flux multiplied by the tens per face, the KG distribution factor, KF. Form theta and kp, which is in pitch action. In this case, they said our machine is fully pitched, meaning that this value is equal to 1. When it's fully pitched, means that kp is equal to 1. So if I continue, then I will say this multiplied by the frequency 50 multiplied by the given flux value of 5, 5 times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by tp, which is what we just calculated there now. 192 multiplied by kg is the given distribution factor. If I look here, it's this value 0, 0,956 and then kf, I mean kp, it's the pitch factor. If it's not given, I mean they told you that the ratio is fully pitch, so you multiply the factor by 1. Right. Punch that in your calculator, you will get a phase voltage. Of no, we forgot one vector, the KF. The form vector says it's a constant 1.111. Right. The KF is a constant 1.111. So if you punch all of these numbers in your calculator, you will end up with the following 2,241,7 volts. Now that is the generated. A voltage MF per phase, and the question wants you to calculate the line of value. And we are told that it's a star connected machine, and we know that E line will be equal to square root 3 of E phase, right? So then this means that for square root 3 multiplied by 2, 2, 4, 1, over 1, 7. And to punch that, in your calculator, then you should have the following 3, 